These artists are making up for a Chinese opera performance in Canton in southern China. But in no way does this form of entertainment follow its counterpart in the West. This cast is getting ready for a 300-year-old Cantonese play called Lu Chanshu. Lu meaning the message carrier. It is a story about a young scholar's encounter with the daughter of a dragon king. Traditionally, almost all the performers in Chinese opera appear on stage with heavily made up faces. This thick makeup was first introduced in the olden days when men impersonated female roles. Actors and actresses use their own brushes and paints. <laughs> The exaggerated makeup of the characters represents part of the pageantry of Chinese theatrical shows. They add color and zest to the performance. Besides acting, storytelling and music, the Chinese opera is closely associated with acrobatics and martial arts. Here in a specialized training center in Kunming, young students are trained in the art of armed combat for stage presentation. During the feudal rule of China, many women reached the status of army generals, and so the girls are given equal opportunities to learn how to handle arms alongside the boys. Staves with pointed ends and swords are the most favored weapons for the stage. And although these youngsters are only trainees, they have already reached a fairly high standard of proficiency and managed to perform without hurting themselves. Three years of training and regular arms practice are the minimum requirements for the performer of martial arts, or wuzu, as it is called in Chinese. Although an integral part of the Chinese opera, wuzu is considered an art form in its own right and can be staged as it is. In addition to martial arts, students have to go through years of rigorous training in various types of acrobatic movements. These are essential for the battle scenes in an opera. The Chinese are past masters in the choreographed presentation of physical agility or acrobatic skill. And that too requires a very tough training from childhood when the body is supple. making and decoration of fans is an art form which has existed for hundreds of years. They have been used in Chinese operas as tools for expressing feminine charms from the beginning. Originally, men played women's parts, but today, with women in their rightful roles, 
The fan is used as an extension to their dramatic expressions. These girls are students at the Suchow Opera School, where they are training under the guidance of an expert to become actresses in this specialized form of entertainment. In addition to the fan, the parasol is also a popular accessory in some of the operas in this region. These teenagers are rehearsing in a specialized school in Kunming. The performance is based on a folk tradition called Hua Deng, which is from the Yunnan province. This presentation is called Excursions in the Spring and portrays the story of a grandfather who takes his granddaughter and her friends for a day's outing in the spring sunshine. Every performer is responsible for his own makeup. The excessive use of heavy paint and bright colors stems from the days when the operas were performed in the open air. Costumes are based upon those of the Ming Dynasty, and there are very strict rules as to what kind of costume should be worn, depending upon the status and personality of the roles being played. Although part of the head is covered, some actors shave off their hair to make their faces seem bigger, a technique from the past. Without exception, all male characters must wear a headdress. And some artists wear long beards to distinguish their roles. Molded by many centuries of imperial and peasant patronage, the Chinese opera is a complex mixture of music, mime, acrobatics, and acting. This is a rehearsal for a play named Yang Dang Shan by a troupe of artists belonging to the Peking Opera. The play is based upon a battle that took place at the beginning of the 7th century between peasants and the Sui general in the Yang Dang Mountains. At one point, one of the rebel soldiers dives into a river where a battle is taking place between the two forces. In Chinese opera, very little scenery is used and a simple rostrum serves as the cliff face. In Chinese opera, the majority of battle scenes are choreographed. The performers dressed in yellow represent the rebel peasants, and those in blue are from the imperial army of the Sui general. In this act, a battle is taking place in the river. As the story develops, the peasants triumph, defeating the emperor's army.
There have been a number of peasant rebellions in the past, and although this is a comparatively modern opera, it's into the history of China today.